What up, peeps? King JL representing Grind for Yokes TV. Back with another video. Um, now, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe, man. Please support your boy, okay? Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about how to smash chicks from work. Now, people always say, don't mix business with pleasure. In my opinion, meeting chicks at work or, uh, you know, vibing with chicks at work or messing around with chicks at work, even finding girlfriends and whatever, wives with uh, chicks that you work with, it's probably probably some of the easiest things to do. Why? Because you, you see these these girls every single day, well, these women every single day. And when you see somebody every day, you know, you tend to pick up on their tendencies and, you know, you definitely develop a, a connection with them, similar to, you know, a chick or a, a female that you may live with, you know, you de develop that connection with them at home, but you also develop a connection with females at work. That's why, you know, I am a big advocate of messing with females at work. I don't necessarily agree with don't mix business with pleasure because I've gotten quite lucky with uh, plenty of females I've worked with. You know, the success rate is, is crazy. So you can do this uh, two ways, right? Um, now, if you watch some of my earlier videos, I have a, uh, you know, kind of a step-by-step -step layout of what you want to bring to the table. Like I said, you want to make sure that you carry yourself a certain way around females, man. Never act thirsty. Never. You know, nowhere shall I uh, act thirsty. Never. Okay? Now, there's two ways. You can play the mysterious role, meaning you go to work. Um, just the work, but the way you carry yourself will will draw women to you. Um, and number two, you can play the uh, friend role. Now, reason I'm saying uh, two ways because these are the two ways you know that works for me. Playing the mysterious role, that's kind of like you know you go to work, you see these females every single day. So why would you act thirsty to a female you see every single day? You know what I mean? You want to be um, mysterious. You want to carry yourself a certain way. You don't want to reveal too much about yourself, meaning you want her to come to you. And if you're doing step by step um, everything that I've said in previous videos, you know, please check those out. You know, you will you will see how to get game and how to carry yourself a certain way. And a lot of times it's going to be irresistible to, you know, not every female, but definitely a couple of females. OK, uh, number two is playing the friend role. Now, playing the friend role. Right. This probably works a lot with um, females that that may be in a relationship already. Now, this is uh, this kind of a dangerous role to to play. Because playing the friend role and still in your back of your mind, you're like, well, I'll still smash her if she gives me the opportunity. So you want to keep in mind that if she has a man, you know, beware the consequences that come along with that. You know, I've I've smashed females that have been in a relationship. You know, I played the scumbag role plenty of times back in the day. But like I said, you want to beware the consequences when you do this. And when you're playing the friend role, you know, you still don't want to come across thirsty. When you're playing the friend role, you want to... Um, come across more so as the the listener and the, as the kind of not the support system because excuse me I'm getting a phone call okay now when you uh you don't want to be the support system right you don't want to be the support system because when you do that you're you're giving her um boyfriend energy and when you give her boyfriend energy that's when you basically become friend zone she looks at you as as the backbone not necessarily as a, a, a dude that she wants to sleep with. So that's why when you play the friend role, you want to be more so of the uh, the listener. You know what I mean? Be more so of the listener. Be like, oh, man, for real? Like, he did that to you? Oh, man, that's fucked up. You know, you want to <laughs> kind of do it like this, but still in the back of your mind, you will still smash. Now, when you play the friend role, you definitely want, don't want to take her out on dates, man. Don't don't hang out with her. Don't spend money on her. Don't do none of that. Because a lot of females uh, nowadays they they will take advantage of that. You know, you don't you never want to do that. Guys will take a female out on ten dates, and and don't you know have sex with them. Like to me, 
I'm not that kind of person that's going to do that. Maybe there's, there's dudes watching this video that'll do that. And me, no, I don't do that at all. Like, if I come to work and I'm playing that friend role with a chick that, you know, I eventually want to smash, you know, this is how I do things. I'm not going to take them out on several dates or nothing. You know, I, I want to be there for her more so as a listener, you know, offering advice and, and, and stuff like that. But when you play the friend role, it, it, it'll probably take a little longer rather than playing the mysterious role because the mysterious role um she kind of she kind of wonders about you you know she's going to be in heat <laughs> basically like if you do this a certain way and you got it going on trust me there's going to be one or two females that's that's going to be in heat for you and uh, the the moment that you um go out on a date with this chick finally and actually like put your hands on her like, uh, meaning, you know, touching her or whatever, I guarantee you she's going to go crazy over you because you played that mysterious role where she doesn't know much about you. You know what I mean? Now, to all my, my, my young dudes out here, listen, meeting a chick at work is probably the highest success rate, especially like if you work at like a um department store or the grocery store, especially at the mall. Like if you work at the mall, it's probably... The best thing, especially if you're like 18 through like 25, like don't don't get it twisted. People always be like, don't mix business with pleasure. But you're 18, like to, to all my, my dudes out here, that's like 18 through like 25. Like these are some of the best years of your life. Like, yeah, you want to make sure you're pursuing goals, but like you want to make sure that you are uh, having fun as well, man. You don't want to waste time. You don't want to uh, miss all your opportunities, man. These, these are your golden years. So, um meeting chicks at work is definitely probably uh the easiest and the highest success rate that i've had like don't don't listen to that bs on don't mix business with pleasure that's probably somebody who uh told the game wrong you know what i mean like i can see if you have your own business and then you smashing every employee <laughs> that works for you and then you smash them into oblivion and they wind up quitting or filing in a lawsuit okay that i get that but if you're working at the mall or something and you like young you know what i mean you definitely want to uh take advantage of your opportunities okay now uh i'll probably be making follow-up videos um on this especially uh um smashing a chick that already has a man like i said that that comes with consequences you want to play that game a certain way okay now this is just a short video man i hope y'all have a blessed day now please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already king jl representing ground for yokes tv peace i'm out